episode of Right, so Nine Tails. Just hey. joining us on commentary now. He was really willing to play that we just watched. Did a great job there. Uh, lots of good reads on rolls with your up smashes. I'm assuming that's a V Bear spin spell and like that. Alright, yeah, thank you for the praise. I did the best I could. But uh, getting into this match, we got a Wario versus Zero Suit. Interesting. I personally I haven't seen much Wario. Yeah, we don't have Wario players uh, who come out here, so it's exciting that V Bears. Uh, the Bears come out to this tournament, and I hope we see more of them. Yeah, definitely. Everyone here can come out. Everything. Yeah. So, um, I don't know a whole lot about Wario, but I know that he has a lot of really good frame data for his sort of, like, aerial and jab and tilt-type moves. And I know that his um, neutral beam covers the entire ledge, every single option if you do it correctly. Wow, that's incredible. And I know that, um, and it doesn't really trade with anything, it just kind of beats. Yeah, and I know that a fairly optimal Wario strategy is to sort of stall your body. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, they're still on 8 minutes. Uh, well, I'll uh, if it gets, if it gets close to time, we'll let them know. Um, basically when it hits 2 minutes, we'll be like, okay, whoever has the most damage in 2 minutes won that one if it times out. I doubt we'll see a timeout, though. Yeah. Uh, especially if it's something like yours. Yeah. It's generally very tricky. And she's put quite a lot of damage on V-Bear so far. Yeah, Wario's pretty heavy though. Uh, so, living pretty pretty high so far. Dash attack. And he has quite the recovery once you factor the bike into it. Yeah, he sure does. He's got essentially two extra jumps on the bike. He pops up and then pops up again when you jump off. And in a dire need, he's got the waft if it's ready to go. Pops yeah. Up, shoots him way up. Rocket, but the back air from Zero Suit. Yeah. Off it was a really well placed back air, too. It looked like it was going to be a forward air. Their angle was coming out, but it was back air. Bro Bear also was looking like he was struggling a little bit to find a way to punish the bike. But he yeah, managed to do it in the I, end. I think it's a lack of matchup experience here. Uh, yeah. I think all he needs to do is short hop in there and snare up, just knock him right off the back, or maybe even a down air to catch him. But so far, the bike's been working out pretty well for it. Uh, yeah. I know um, a, another thing you want to do in the Wario matchup is you want to try to aim to get those edge guards on Wario while his bike's on the stage like it is right now because then he doesn't get to use the recovery. Oh, quick down throw up B. I wow. was about to say, the waft is online, so Kroger's got to be careful, but he didn't even, he didn't even care. He just went in and he finished that stock Head right off. Crazy. Great match for Kroger. Ninetales, do you know uh, any frame awesome. data for the waft? You're in the right? Uh, I think it's, it's like it's like a frame two or frame three move. It's really fast. Yeah, pretty odd. I think. I don't know. Okay. Don't quote me on that. First. Seems like maybe an screen. option to go for if he's got it uh, after a zero suit okay. down throw. It's sort of like a Jigglypuff rest with a slightly different range and, uh, you know, incredibly lack of punishability relative right. to rest. Uh, it looks like we went to non Omega um, Mario Galaxy. I guess that was Gentleman Den. Wow, interesting. And a pretty quick decision, too. <laughs> yeah, all things considered. Um, so, Robert took that first game pretty convincingly. He had two stocks under 100%. Uh, so, uh, let's see what V Bear tries to, to work out this time. Yeah, maybe, maybe the walk out here will turn out to be very good for Wario. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing an unexpected walk come out of nowhere. It's like, so that's the next thing that's happen over here. I mean, I want to see Robert Travis. do well as, as well. You're just you know. waiting on Travis. Gotta, gotta get that hype. Yeah. You know what? I'd, I'd love for, for every match to go to game three. Yeah. B Bear did a good job escaping the boost kick that time around. Looks like he's figuring out a little bit, maybe. Oh, wow. He's trying to run away, but, uh, but then grab from Zero Suit. And then Zero Suit got that get up with the, the down smash and then the forward smash to take the first stock. The walk off not, not faring too well for Mario that time. Yeah. Seems like if he's going to try to run away, he should maybe try to do it on the bike. He's got a little better uh, land speed on the bike than his feet, perhaps. Yeah, we're not the fastest character. He's got little feet, short and stubby legs. Yeah, one of Wario's bigger problems is his range in general. He gets a little bit of distress from his hitbox, but because you know his fists get bigger when he punches somehow. Yeah. Uh, uh, about the the the, the chomp. Is that what's actually called? The, the what? The, his Wario's neutral beat. 
It's called the Chomp. Okay, we'll call it the Chomp. Not sure what it's actually he called, but I'm surprised actually at by how little he's been using it in this matchup. Uh, uh, Rover sits in his shield a lot, and of course, being a main grab, the beats the. Wait, did they actually go to the. And region? the Waft is active now. Oh, but he wasted on Brobear's shield. That might not have been the most optimal time to use Waft because I think Brobear's shield was already up before he even put it out. Ford Smash is almost colliding there, but Brobear is winning out in that fight. Can he mash? And he gets the grounded to the boost kick. I thought I thought V Bear lived that for a moment. His DI was looking pretty good, actually, in general. But uh, Robert's going to take that set overall 2-0, so good game to both players. Yeah, nice work, you guys.